Welcome to this week's episode of Kid Lit 6. Each week we get to spend six minutes together celebrating book birthdays, connecting with authors, and adding lots of great books to your reading wish lists. As a reminder, all the books that we mention are listed down below. So if you hear about a book that you think sounds interesting that you might want to read, you can look down there to get all the information about the book and how to connect with the author. If you're new here, you can go back and watch previous episodes to get lots of great book suggestions. This week's book of the week is Belly Up. 12-year-old Teddy lives at Fun Jungle. Think amusement park, zoo, wild animal park, aquarium, all put together. But then something goes wrong. Henry the hippopotamus turns up belly up. They've got a murder on their hands. Now, Teddy is convinced that it's a murder. The zoo, however, is saying that he died of natural causes. Teddy thinks something suspicious is going on. And the top people at the zoo don't believe him. So he has to find a way to search for clues and solve this mystery on his own. If you like books with animals, you're going to love reading this book because you get to meet lots of different animals at the zoo. You might also like this book if you enjoy books with mysteries. Teddy is setting out to solve the mystery of how Henry died, and so you get the chance to solve it along with him. I'd also recommend this book if you like reading series, because after you read this book, there are a number of other books in the Fun Jungle series that you can read. Hi, my name is Kelly McKinney, and I am here to tell you a little bit about my debut middle grade novel. Um, it is called Jeff Pennant's Field Guide to Raising Happy Parents. And this is just a little sneak preview look at the cover. Um, I'm so excited to share it with you. It's a story about family. It's a story about friendship. Um, it's a story about honesty, and it takes a look at that moment when you learn how to look outside yourself and value other people's thoughts and opinions and feelings as your own. And it was a whole lot of fun to write, so um, I hope you enjoy it. Another book I would love to share with you today is this one. It is Best Friends Playbook by A.W. Downer, and I love that dragon right there. Um, There's so many things I enjoyed about that, that book. Um, the biggest one I think was that it was set, it is set in a homeschool setting. And I thought that was fantastic. It's really well written. And um, I hope you love both of them, both uh, Jeff Pennant and Best Friends Playbook. Thank you so much for watching and happy reading. The day a book first comes out is called its publication date but it can also be called its book birthday. And since that's a whole lot more fun, we're going to go with that. So let's get ready to celebrate a few of this week's book birthdays. First up is the decomposition of Jack. Middle school is hard, but when you're known as the roadkill kid, it can be even harder. Jack's mom collects roadkill. It's her job and she's really good at it. But when Jack's parents go through a divorce, he feels some responsibility to help continue his mom with this job as co-scientist. The only problem is there's other things Jack would rather be doing. So what's a middle schooler to do? Next up is the lost whale. Rio is sent to live with his grandmother in California. Problem is he hardly knows her. Then he makes a friend while he's at the beach and this friend introduces him to the gray whales. As Rio gets to know these whales and grows to love them, he realizes that if his mom would just be able to connect with these whales, he thinks that she would get better and want to come to California. And then one of the whales goes missing and Rio sets off on a very dangerous journey to try to find the whale. The best way to celebrate a book birthday is by reading the book. So head to your local library or your nearest bookstore and get your copy of these books today.
building a house, you're going to have to follow the building regulations in your city. Do you think you can create your own sentence using the word regulations? Try creating your own sentence and then sharing it with us on social media or commenting down below with the sentence you've created. Thank you for watching this week's episode. We hope you found lots of great books that you want to read. Have a great week and happy reading.